Welcome everybody to a playthrough of Kona 2 Broom. Now, this is the sequel to the original game, Kona, that came out about six years ago. I think the final part of that playthrough of that game uh, came out on March 28th, 2017. So, yeah, it's been a long time coming for this game to come out, but, yeah, really, really been looking forward to it. So, um, yeah, so let's see what's got in store for us. We'll just go with minimal narration over talking uh, on this but yeah still really enjoyed the first game apparently it's part, part this and that game is part of a four part series of games so hopefully we'll have to wait over six years the boldness of our government and our shareholders. William Hamilton built his venture on the ashes of the Second World War copper mine he envisioned was ransacking the First Nations ancestral territories drawing the wrath of the local people it definitely took nerves of steel to stay the course, despite all this hostility. Before long, in the face of William Hamilton's cold and uncompromising stance, the petitions and peaceful protests turned into sabotage, vandalism, and other criminal acts. The industrialists' private properties also encountered the wrath of the demonstrations. Carl Faubert, a veteran of the Korean War, was hired from Montreal as a private detective to shed some light on this whole thing. But at the end of his long journey to northern Quebec, the detective did not only encounter property damage, he also came face to face with the corpse of William Hamilton. The strangeness only kept building throughout the investigation. A powerful, unseasonable blizzard hit the region. Bodies frozen in unbreakable ice appeared. The local fauna began to act strangely and aggressively. Carl Faubert began to doubt his own sanity. The detective felt the weight of a gaze as if he were at the mercy of a powerful, feral creature waiting for the right moment to attack. Carl's fear was taking over. Overpowering his reason, he was giving in to delirium. In that instant, he thought that the dark waters of the lake might shield him from the shapes that pursued him. From there, he had a renewed hope in civilization or whatever was left of it. So yeah, that's a recap of the first game. That's where we ended it, we're on a boat. And here we are now. So, yeah. Still got some weapon, uh, 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 at least a weapon on our side, so that's good. Graphically, I'm not sure how this is gonna look in comparison Carl to Carl knew that on one of these shores stood William Hamilton's lavish mansion. And there, the detective had hopes of finding a way out of the area. A phone, a truck, who knows? Under the luxurious paneling and damask carpets, he might be able to find answers to his questions. Boats out of here that are drifting. Well, something untoward has happened out here, that's for sure. Probably more people that have been murdered. necessarily going to be friendly. Told you. <laughs> Not so much for having that gun.
Freezing and we've been shot at least once. Not sure where, but being shot anywhere in this kind of environment is always a bad thing. Mentions location of a key. We missed each other again. I slipped the money under the door. When you finished with the delivery, just leave the key in the gazebo. Same place as usual. I'll be gone for a few hours, but I'll see you next in front of the checkerboard. Be prepared to get your ass kicked, Charles. Right. Oh, ammunition. A revolver. Helpful. Go. Let's get our warmth back up. So yeah, there are survival elements to this game, but it's not egregious like it has been in so many other games. It's not the main point of the story. It's more of you know other things, you know, like story, plot, and characterization. Construction material delivery makes its work on the gazebo. Spare parts, so you can also construct things. So, if you so wish. Some batteries for our flashlight. Let's take a bit of a rest after all of that. Pretty sure these are save points as well, resting. important clues. So you can take pictures of pretty much anything in this. Right. Just as he was about to venture outside, Carl suddenly felt vulnerable. He had not brought anything to protect himself. Is there anything in here we can use? Oh, hatchet. That'd be helpful. defend ourselves we can with our hatchet. Not the best weapon ever, obviously, but still, it's better than nothing at all. Right, where's this gazebo at? Well, we've got Shrek's a shit house in here. So 
Yeah, this has come out at pretty much the perfect time, given, you know, it's more of a... It's got horror elements to it, but it's also, like, science fiction and whatnot, so it's not a full-blown horror, but, yeah, it's definitely the perfect time to release a game like this. Especially given the cold weather is now setting in. onto the roof and there might be a hole in there. Crouch. Well, it definitely looks like there's a way in there. It might not be from here. Ah! I see. The log that... well, the tree that has fallen down. Looks like a, uh, a little bit of a ramp. Controls. Can you tell me any controls? I guess. Well, it did look like something we could have used. I guess not. Right. Bye. And as per usual with these survival games, you have a stamina kind of thing, but it does fill up quite quickly and it doesn't seem to drain out that quick either. Oh hell. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm not after you whatsoever. It's an odd place to find some white wall tires. Oh dear. Well, at least he died quick. Places be opened up. Well, we know we can take on a wolf fairly easily on its own. So when it becomes a uh, pack of wolves that we're going to really have to worry about. Was a light machine gun. Mm. Oh shit, did not see him. An abnormally frozen body. Security officer armband. Frozen watch. It's October 4th, 1720. Drawn map. That's helpful. And An access card. card, a rather modern piece of technology, especially for a mining complex in the far north. What could it possibly open? Right, our 
first body. Rip the door open. Complete scarred the door, in fact. Someone else might have gotten out and gone that way. Someone did, or something did drag something down here. Let's follow the trail. I'm sure this can't go wrong. Well, the key card might help with this. Zebo was with the key, but regardless, it should hopefully be something useful in here. Ah, yes, finally a gun. Six shot, 38 special, double action revolver with fixed sights. That'll definitely come in handy. Got some batteries. No explosives, unfortunately. A gas, gas mask. mask. Carl had tried out older models as an infantryman. He hardly saw the need for such equipment to protect against simple ore dust. Yeah, so there's clearly something else in here. Doesn't tell me how many shots I've got, fortunately. Whether or not I have to actually equip them. I've got ten. So, one full um, chamber of bullets and then four besides. I don't need that right now, though. In fact, our flashlight. Can switch off. Is it on or off? I can't tell. Off. Don't need to uh, waste our batteries anymore. Oh, I think I've only got four rounds. Or oh, is that saying how many I've got in the chambers and then for plus how many extra? I think that's what it's saying. Where's this sodding gazebo at? Oh, tents. Someone else has had a bad time out here? Oh, we're there. Off you could go over there. Surveillance notes. 22nd of September, arrival at Manor, no travel, ham in his office until 3am. 23rd of September, truck returns from fenced area, three guards at gate house, perimeter rounds at 1.15pm, 3.20pm, 5.15pm. Lots of movement of equipment, abnormal, ham not present, stayed at the manor. Ham did not move from the manor. Ill, maybe. Uh, 28th of September, D-Day tonight. Chuck put me plus four. Okay. Not a very big camp for f several people, but... Regardless. So the mansion key is in a gazebo near the uh, mansion. Right, so let's go left through this little creek thing and then up here and then we'll get to the mansion. So, let's 
in this game because there's no doubt going to be some way of hurting you or killing you. to carry radioactive objects. Oh, okay. And a Geiger counter. Modified ionization chamber used for the detection and measurement of radiations. A radiation detector. Clearly, Hamilton's people were digging for more than just copper. Keeping this handy tool could prove beneficial. Indeed it could. Right. Intervention Protocol Disaster Crisis Contingency Hamilton Mining Corporation into the employees of the Emergency Intervention Unit in case of an explosion or a disruption with the matter. Quickly retrieve the secure box located in the coverage area. Uh, okay then, so something shady is going on. That would usually look like something that you couldn't get past in a game, but luckily that is not the case here. No radiation detected. Black crowberry has long been a part of the diet of the Innu of Quebec, who consumed it to protect themselves from the cold. Okay, that's cool. That'd be helpful. Get to a particularly cold spot. Radiation is still at a minimal. Oh, it is growing. It's growing quite a lot. Oh hell. Off you F wolf. Don't want your nonsense. Well, you forced my hand. Right, we found what looks like a road. Indeed, it is a road. There are lines, so. Ralantisis. Pretty sure this means it's out of board. Yeah, we don't really need to be going this way anyway. Yeah, it's more this way. Well, at least we know we're not going to get run over from anything but from behind. Uh, Heady 50 kilometers an hour, I imagine that is, not 50 miles. Right, here we go. On the way to the mansion. Sure, there's nothing spooky or horrible here. Gazebo, and then we can probably get inside. Imagine the gazebo is in the inside, and the gates are unlocked. Got a nice fancy car there, though. Hamilton Estates. Now that is a fancy car. I like. Doors are frozen shut. There is nobody in the vehicle. to leave. But clearly they did not, because they are not gone anyway. 
Looks like somebody's been vandalising things in here. Right, now we look like we need more flashlight. Spare parts. Ammunition, good. So that is for our gun. This is one of those games where searching is always beneficial. You're never always going to stumble across something you need. before we go anywhere. Si vous entendez ce flux, ce message est crucial. Trouvez un endroit où vous mettre à l'abri. Ne sortez qu'en dernier recours. Si vous avez à sortir, Armez-vous et méfiez-vous de tout compte porte les couleurs de la Hamilton Mining Corporation. Tenez-vous le plus loin possible de la forme. Les animaux sont devenus extrêmement agressifs. Je répète, tenez-vous le plus loin possible des animaux et méfiez-vous de tout compte porte les couleurs de la Hamilton Mining Corporation. Well, I'm not affiliated with them, so it don't matter to me. Key and then we can enter the mansion. It's like a zebo over there, if I've ever seen one in my life. Go through the gate. No, it's not from the other side. Right. I want to take a picture of the spooky mansion. That's quite a sizable place, if you will agree, I'm sure. Don't know why the camera's not working. Perfectly or anything, but regardless, right. So we've got a bit more ammo now in our gun. We have uh, 13 bullets, so that should hopefully help us. But who knows? Right, let's get inside. I'm sure, this will go well. 